trouble is when I'm flying the helicopter, my neck's got to be pretty agile, you know, i got to be able to look around. Well, when I first went to work for AirCam, that inflammation was in my spine. In fact, I went and had a MRI, and uh, you could see it, indications of inflammation along my spine, up and down that. But anyway, uh, they gave me some medication, and all it did was make me ill. <laughs> it uh, gave, gave me ulcers, and uh, I said, I'm, I'm not gonna take any more medication. And that was just before I met Jay. So then I started using the stone because I was in a lot of pain, and especially when I tried turning my neck, you know, it just hurt real bad. So during the helicopter, I'd have to turn my body to look. So once I started using that stone, that all that pain and stuff went away. Jay was noticing that I was rubbing my neck, you know, and was giving me some problems. So one day he comes in and he says, here, I want you to use this on your neck. And hold up my hand and it's a blue stone. I says, how am I going to put that on my neck? And uh, he says, oh, you'll figure out a way. So I got real creative and got a headband and you know, attached the stone to the headband with some Velcro and started wearing that stone around, you know. And uh, about six months later, no pain. And my neck just, you know, got better. And then I thought, well, that's good. I'll just uh, take the stone off. I won't need it anymore. About three or four months later, it started giving me troubles again. And I had, so I have to use the stone all the time. But uh, <clears throat> at the same time, I was having trouble with my eyes. And since I had that stone up there on the back of my neck, it affected my eyes. I mean, I started saying, holy smokes, I can, I'm starting to see better, Jay. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what's been happening in my life. As a pilot, you got to have good depth perception. And uh, that's what happens. I mean, I use the stone and the mud packs, take them with me now. I mean, the Got them right there in that backpack that you're looking at, <clears throat> and uh, I use them all the time. I, I have a prescription, and every year uh, I go in, you know, to get my eyes checked, and my eyes are getting better rather than worse. <laughs> so that's kind of fun, you know. I mean, the prescription changes, but it changes for the better. So down the road, I may have to have, you know, some surgery or something on my eyes, but. Right now, it's just, you know, doing really good. <laughs> Maybe I'll never have to have that because those stones, you know, help my eyes. And anyway, here I was wearing a, a stone, and uh, one day I come in and I says, Jay, look at my stone. It's, uh, you know, it's turning color. It was a pretty blue, you know, when he gave it to me. Now it's kind of a black charcoal looking thing, you know. And I says, what's going on with the stone? And he says, now this was two years ago, and he says, you know, I've had some other people say that their stone changes color as they start using it. And he says, I can't believe yours is doing that. Well, what it was doing, lo and behold, it was drying that uh, poison out of my neck, that inflammation, and, uh, and it was putting it into the stone. And so I've got this, I carry that stone with me. You can see on one side where I got the Velcro, it's just pretty. On the other side, it's black. And it's because I wear it against the back of my neck. And it just draws. So I wound up sending one to my <clears throat> daughter-in-law in California. She went to Italy and come back with a sore on her leg. Wouldn't heal. So I says, Jay, would you send uh, Julia a stone? And he did. And uh, I said, Julia, take and make sure you, you know, get something and so it'll hold it on that sore. And he healed it. I mean, it's just amazing what that'll do. I'm not sure the mud packs draw, but the mud packs just do some other things. I mean, it's, it's not too comfortable to sleep on the stone. But I put the mud packs in my uh, bed under the sheet, and I lay on top of them. And that's just, uh, you know, I wake up, I sleep, for one thing, I sleep really well with those mud packs. Uh, over the years, I've 
<clears throat> kind of got so I didn't sleep very well. But these mud packs, they just uh, they're the ticket for nice sound sleep. But one day I was talking to Jay, and I said, Jay was telling me, look, Jim, he said, I think what's happening here is that an inflammation in your neck was fungus related. And uh, <clears throat> he says that radiation hormesis kills that fungus, and, uh, and that's what happens. Plus, it stimulates your uh, body, and especially the immune system, right? So I think about this for, you know, a lot. And, uh, and other people that I've talked to, uh, that's what happens to them. Jay says, you know what, this uh, fungus is the, is the, everybody I call up, they've got some kind of fungus in their body. And this radiation hormesis takes care of that fungus, it kills it. They start getting better. So one day we we're out on the helicopter working, Jay's up on the, head and I'm handing him some parts and his phone rings and so he answers it he says oh it's out in the car he hands me the phone and says talk to Cindy I'll be right back he climbs down on the helicopter and I talk to Cindy who was a lady from uh, Phoenix who has been under, crippled in a wheelchair for 20 years and she says you know what uh, this stone not in the wheelchair anymore after 20 years. So I said, well, uh, tell me your story. She says, well, I was had uh, meningitis and uh, uh, aspirillus, and I'm in different problems, you know, that kept me in the wheelchair. I could use my arms. And uh, One day I was on oxygen, and the oxygen tank on the way back home, something broke off of that tank, a hose or something whipped around the truck and broke my arm. And so I was, I fell out of the chair that night and they couldn't get me back in the chair. I was hurting bad and lo and behold, there was a stone that some friend of mine gave me that Jay gave her. And here I was, the only thing I could do was use this stone. And I was rubbing it on my arm that was broken and it was bruised and hurting. By the time I got help, she says the pain had gone. <clears throat> the bruising had started to lighten up. And now she says, here I am talking to you on the telephone. She says, six months ago, I wouldn't have been able to talk to you. She says, it's all because of this radiation hormesis and the way it works on my body. Amazing stuff. I said, hey, Jay, when I started using the stone two years ago, one day I said, you know what, I haven't had a cold for a whole year. And he says, I don't, I don't get colds either. Well, it's been over two years now, and I haven't had a cold, I haven't been sick. And <laughs> one day my son, we're sharing a condo, and Paul come down with the flu. And it, it put him down, you know. And uh, I was in the, you know, close by. And... Uh, I thought, oh, here I go, you know, I'm going to get the flu. Not a sign of the flu. I mean, <laughs> it was a bad flu bug that got him. Not, didn't affect me at all. That's just, you know, normal people, you know, need to be healthy. I get a chance to talk with people. Jay has me talk with people. In fact, a lady from Hawaii called me. Her name was Jay. One day, one day the phone rang and it was Jade and she wanted to know about my eyes, you know, because she was having some problems too. So I get a chance to talk to a lot of people and uh, read a lot of uh, emails that Jay gets and it's just, uh, it's a miracle, you know. Jay's a, a miracle healer. <laughs> That's all I can say, you know.